Hi Virgo, this is your bonus reading for March 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for March 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for March 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of virgo for march 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so virgo Virgo, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Virgo, this is you. This is your partner. So, Virgo, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For March 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Virgo, is the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news or message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Virgo, listen, you guys can be sending each other passionate messages. It very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion or you guys had a heated discussion or argument clarify the page of wands for virgo and their partner clarify the page of wands for virgo and their partner clarify the page of wands for virgo and their partner it is clarified with the high priestess scorpio cancer or pisces this is she who knows she who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for both you and your partner to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So, Virgo, yes, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking to one another. You can tell me that someone here is using their intuition or someone is keeping a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, someone here could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but we're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. 
for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the chariot for Virgo and their partner. Clarify the chariot for Virgo and their partner. It is clarified with the three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, listen, Virgo, very well could have been a third party involved here. We could have found passionate messages. And someone is using their intuition about cutting someone off and just moving forward, moving away from the situation. However, Virgo, very well could be receiving passionate messages. Either your partner's receiving it from you or you, them, wanting to work things out here. And yes, there was a cutting off, but maybe wanting to use our intuition on whether or not we should move forward with making up and working things out here. So Virgo, you have the Six of Cups. You have the King of Cups. You have the Five of Cups. Cups, Cups. Cups, cups, cups. Your partner has the Wheel of Fortune. Your partner has the Ace of Wands. And your partner has the Seven of Pentacles. So, Virgo, the mutual point of interest on what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, very well could be that there's a third party. We found passionate messages here and someone is using an intuition feeling like they need to cut the other person off and just move forward. However, someone could be reaching out to the other with passionate messages, wanting to work things out here. And someone is like using their intuition on whether or not we're going to move forward with this person after some type of cutting off since we're trying to work things out. Virgo. You have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that this is the person from your past, maybe wanting to reunite here. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up here. However, children can be involved. Could also be that someone from your past or their past may be in the picture. Clarify the Six of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Six of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Six of Cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. Could be an actual change in luck and fortune or about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Virgo, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Virgo, listen, <clears throat> you can tell me that something is going on with your actual luck and fortune here. Usually when we deal with the three of wands, the ships are here. So something may be coming into you. Maybe something from the past that you applied for in the past here. However, Virgo, you could be waiting, maybe giving it time, divine timing to reunite with this person here. Virgo, you have the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Virgo could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also, with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. 
Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Virgo, listen, very well could be a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone is out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Virgo, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages, sending out passionate messages, very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion out being a player here. However, it could have been a heated discussion or argument with a rushing and going off going ham passionately here. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. Clarify the page of wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, listen. Hmm. You're telling me that you're dealing with your soulmate here. And yes, we could have had an argument. And yes, someone could have been out being a player. Yes, yes. But Virgo, you still love this person here. So is this about working things out and reuniting here and really getting this party started? Is someone reaching out to the other with passionate messages wanting to work things out? Virgo, you have the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So Virgo, listen, you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played here. Clarify the Five of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Five of Cups for Virgo. Clarify the Five of Cups for Virgo. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. You know, Virgo, you could be feeling remorse and regret and wanting to restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. However, and tarot tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics, and this is why you're mourning here. I feel like you're, you're wanting to get back with this person in divine timing here. So Virgo, listen, yes, you guys could have had a heated discussion or argument, stop talking to one another, and there may have been a cutting off, maybe trying to move forward here now and maybe working things out, Virgo, after some time, Virgo. Your partner has the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Virgo, <clears throat> your partner could tell me that everything has changed here. Could be an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo's partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a tense, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Virgo, your partner can tell me that everything has changed between you guys because there was a betrayal. However, tens are ending, so your partner could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Maybe they just needed some time, some time to reunite here and work things out, Virgo. Virgo, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Virgo, listen, your partner could have the spark of a new idea. It could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or someone starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense, but this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be your partner shutting someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Virgo, listen, you know, you guys could have had this passionate communication, a heated discussion or argument here, and your partner may be off and shunning, setting boundaries or trying to explain or defend themselves here. You know, your partner could be standoffish with you because they feel like you started a passionate new beginning. Your partner could also have been accused of starting a passionate new beginning. They're trying to defend themselves here and maybe they're hurt because their feelings are hurt because they're being accused here. Listen, Virgo, <clears throat> your partner has a seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest, whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account, looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Virgo, listen, your partner could be waiting on money. Could it be actual change in luck and fortune going on here? Something coming into you and them losing something. However, your partner could tell me that they're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. I don't know why it's so sticky. The star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. So Virgo could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Could be getting their wish or following their destiny here. Clarify the star. For Virgo's partner, clarify the star. For Virgo's partner, clarify the star. For Virgo's partner, it is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, <clears throat> you guys are on a break here. You know, and maybe they just want to wait. They need some time to heal individually on their own because it could be feeling a sense of betrayal here, Virgo. However, Virgo, your partner could be heavily meditating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship, holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile, but maybe just needing some time here. Okay, listen, Virgo, there's been some type of betrayal, but... Yes, this betrayal changed everything, but what is it about? Is it about the coins here? 
Listen, very well could have got into a heated discussion or argument, something that was said here. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Are they blaming you, Virgo? Are you in love with someone else here? Virgo, listen, I feel like you guys aren't speaking to one another. I feel like there was a cutting off because you guys did break up here. I feel like we're wanting to move forward, though, and possibly work things out. I know you do, but I also feel like your partner does, too. But I feel like they need some time to get over it. Virgo, this is your bonus reading for March 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.